discussing silver today as well, because silver prices are rising massively today. And now the question really is that why that is really happening? Why, what really provoked this massive rally in stocks such as GameStop, AMC, BlackBerry, uh, and several other stocks which were on the verge of bankruptcies and then how they, these stocks are really uh, moving up. And more importantly, what is behind the rally, and if there are any implications or replicate, uh, you know, for the for the for the bigger stock market, can we say that the big sell-off that is uh, we saw at least last week was just purely down to this one? And given the fact that today we're seeing silver prices uh, surge more than 11% only today. Uh, how high can they really go? Uh, what is the next level for silver prices? Really, uh, I think that is the most burning question among investors and traders. I'm not going to focus too much on the stock analysis for GameStop or AMC. Uh, I will talk about the major fundamentals which were which drove the prices higher. I will certainly talk about the price levels in terms of my prediction where the prices can really go for GameStop. Uh, and then well, we will keep more analysis on silver because I believe that is the biggest opportunity in today's market while we're really seeing that. Now, having said all of that, let's begin our, um, our small 20-minute conversation in which we will be really talking about uh, everything on this market. So as always, risk warnings first. Anything which we'll be discussing in this particular video cannot be perceived as an advice. If you are seeking for one, please do consider consulting with your own financial advisors. Now, folks, the most important thing uh, for you guys to understand is to learn about all the big moves. So for example, today, you know, okay, silver prices are rising from 8% to 9% to 10% to 11%, why the prices are moving higher, all of that information uh, is really readily, readily available on Twitter. So being on Twitter is the most important thing that I have talked about in any of the previous webinars, and we will be talking more in more detail on Wednesday as well on this one. So why it is so so important, uh, and that is what we are really, um, I mean, that sort of information can be readily available on Twitter. Of course, you can go to other uh, tier one media such as Bloomberg, CNBC, Reuters, but the fact is by the time those guys will put out the full news out, it would be too late, the move would have already happened, so you would have missed that move. On the other hand, if you are on Twitter, you will see that pretty much straight away, you know, the why the movie is happening, in what asset class the movie is happening, and what to make out of it. More importantly, you know, if you tweet back, if you comment on it, you will get a reply back as well. So, you know, on Twitter, I'm very, very active, and so is Evertrade, so the handles are right in front of you guys, and I will show you how to find them as well. In addition to that, on our YouTube channel, we discuss two different videos. One is your daily fundamental video. This is a live session, so if you haven't subscribed to our channels, uh, please make sure that you do, because what it will do is the moment uh, we go live, it will give you notification that yes, we, we, are live, we are live on YouTube, and then you can ask me as many questions as you can, and then I will answer them accordingly. And secondly, for more sophisticated traders, I also put a technical analysis video, so like the one that I've done today on silver prices, why prices are really moving higher, what is really driving the prices, and how high the prices can go. You know, so just a very basic questions and then doing some uh, technical analysis, looking at the price analysis behind them. I think that is the most core, in, these are the most important things that any investor would like to know. Now, uh, let me, uh, let me now, uh, before I do that, let me show you where to find us and what to really make out of it. Right, okay, so this is the first one, is the Twitter account. Uh, this is my handle over here, as you can see. So if you are not following it, please make sure you do, because what it will do is it will give you all the notifications and some really important tweets at the same time as well. Uh, so it really gives you all the ideas behind that of what we are really talking about. So it gives you an, it gives you all the important information. This is the Avatrade Twitter account. Make sure when you're following it, you're following the right one with the with the verified sign. 
and uh, and once again you know all the information is right over here and then make sure that you are keep following that um and then on youtube this is uh my account so naeem asam already gonna put it on uh, youtube and then make sure you hit that subscribe button when once you are on it you will see that there are so many different videos where i'm discussing with you guys on a daily basis what exactly is going on Similarly, on our trade, once again, highly, highly recommend you to subscribe that and you get all the information on a daily basis, what sort of videos what we're putting in and then what exactly is going on behind the previous moves. So very important for you guys to, to be on the channels and then um, making sure that you are utilizing the best of that. So very quickly, some of the things that I kind of wanted to discuss with, at, at, which is Avatrade's unique technology. Avatrade is a revolutionary one-click risk management tool available on Avatrade, WebTrader, and Web, uh, Avatrade Go app. With Avatrade, you can purchase protection against loss for a defined period. For opening, after opening a position, if the protection ends, you will have an open position that is losing. Avatrade will reimburse the loss directly into the trading account. The only cost is the Everprotect fee itself. Now, how can clients activate this? So, you know, that the process is right uh, in front of you, and I will, don't want to spend too much time on it because I really kind of wanted to focus on our webinar and what we really wanted to talk about. But very simply and briefly, tab the open. Uh, web trade on the go, select an instrument, click on the other protection icon, choose the protection duration, see the fee, expiry date, complete the trade, and that is it. Trade is protected. Available on FX, gold, and silver. So really, this is available on silver, uh, and given the fact that we will be talking about on silver quite a lot, so this is going to be very, very good uh, in, in, in this one. Uh, so someone is making a comment about uh, that we're spending too much time on Twitter uh it's uh not really because the main point about that is uh for you guys to making sure that you are aware where to get the information and that is the main point you can if you cannot uh if you don't follow the information at the right time you're going to really miss a big move so that is the most important thing all right okay so agenda so basically, what is the background to this incident? So the answer to this particular one is so the incident, what, by that what I mean is the GameStop, uh, why the GameStop stock has gone so much high. So if I just bring out the Bloomberg terminal for a second and then just show you the price moves that we have seen for a GameStop. Uh, let me just pull out the chart quickly. All right, okay, so you, now you can see that this particular stock was trading, you know, in around below $40. In fact, at the beginning of this year, this stock was, you know, it kind of opened at uh, $42 and then went all the way nearly to $500 on, on uh uh, right over here on the 28th of January. Now, the reason that we saw this massive move behind this one was because retail traders like yourself, like the, you know everyone else on Reddit forums, they had this opportunity where they can collaborate and they can see what other retail traders are doing and more importantly, what direction they are trading. Now, GameStop stock, was very much, um, you know, was on 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 its path to bankruptcy, and hedge funds and institution and money managers started to build their position against this company, thinking that the stock price will go down to zero, company will file for bankruptcy. But then what happened was that retail traders, all of a sudden, for the first time, sort of, you know, in in this magnitude, started that they are going to support this particular stock the stock and they started to buy this uh, the, this the stock and that really provoked the massive massive buying and because of this the reason we saw the prices surging so much now obviously as of friday the price closed at uh, you know 325 the high was uh, 413 but on reddit forms and i think it is possible what is really being talked about is that uh, the price can really reach all the way 
to uh, you know uh, all the way to one thousand dollar and that is the most important thing when it comes to GameStop and of course GameStop isn't the only stock which is very much in play here we had several other companies seeing their uh, shares surging as well such as AMC uh, and then you have GameStop obviously then you have BlackBerry and several other uh, stocks which were very much highly shorted on Wall Street also saw their shares surging as well. So if I bring up the AMC chart just in front of you, then you will see that the same thing happened with the AMC as well. There's the stock popped massively uh, on this particular day, which was the 27th of January. The stock, you know, uh, went as high as 2036, while the previous day, the stock sort of was trading in around $5. So we saw this massive, massive gains in these particular stocks as well. So once again, you know, the, it was the battle between retail traders and the institutional traders and hedge funds who were really saying that, okay, we are going to give a nosebleed to hedge funds. We're going to teach them a lesson that these particular uh, uh, practices, these practices which are uh, which. Uh, hedge funds have are completely wrong and retail traders can really win this war and that is what is very much reflected in this particular stock because retail traders have shown to institutional traders they can move the market number one number two they can win this battle because last week we have seen losses for hedge funds in billions literally in billions and really really big losses and basically those losses what they've done but the Dow Jones index is it's triggered a massive sort of a sell-off for uh, for uh, stock indices. Uh, what happened was, you know, just like when you are trading on margin, when your price starts to move against you, then you are very close to getting a margin call. So what do you do is you put more money or you sell out your position. So for these hedge funds, because they were holding a short position, hoping for the price to go lower, but the price has started to go high as you can see on this particular chart. So they started to sell their other positions uh, where they were making money in order to bring that cash to fulfill this margin requirement with, uh, uh, for uh, GameStop and several other stock positions that they, where they had a short position. And that triggered a massive sell-off. Now, of course, today we are seeing this massive, massive bull candle. Uh, and uh, I believe that I think this could be just a dead cat bounce rather than anything else. And I think the prices are very much likely to move to the downside from here rather than moving to the upside. The reason for that is because, look, there are two ways to play this particular uh, price action. Number one is that the price came close to its 100-day simple moving average on the daily time frame. This is your 50-day and this is your 200-day. Now, in our previous analysis videos, we've discussed and in the previous live videos as well. And again, this is the importance of me discussing that you, know, you guys need to be on YouTube channels and on Twitter because we discussed this opportunity with the, where the prices can come and the prices can move back up. And then that's what exactly what happened over here. Prices, price came to its 100 day simple moving average. And then now today we have seen this massive move. So you can go back to the previous videos and you can see that the way we've discussed it. So that is what we are seeing today. So now in order to play this one, you can go long by putting a stop loss on the below of today's low and let this prices move. And if the price moves above the uh, 50 day simple moving average, then we are really talking about new record highs. However, as I think that this is nothing but a dead cat bounce, so if price, you know, you get stopped out, and the price on the long side, the price starts to move lower, then you could potentially put a you know, sell position just as the price breaks the low of today and then wait for this price to continue, to continue its journey towards its next support zone, which is going to be your uh, 200 day simple moving average. Now, why this can happen? This can happen if prices for AMC, GameStop, and everything else start continue to move to the upside and hedge funds uh, keep selling their positions that we will see another sell off in the Dow Jones and the prices will continue to move to the downside. Does that make, diff uh, does that make sense to you guys? What I'm talking about, because it's very important that you guys understand this one. So the, more, the simple idea 
again is that if the prices continue to move higher on GameStop, AMC, BlackBerry, all the shorter stocks, what we are likely to see under those circumstances is that Dow Jones Industrial Price or US 30, uh, it will continue to sell and then we will see the prices for these assets to move to the downside. So the next support zone is going to be here. So they have a negative correlation really now with each other. Now in terms of a silver, which is the most important uh, derivative uh, or metal for to talk about today, it is all about silver. Because silver prices have started to move higher for the last few days. As you can see, this is your weekly chart. We already, on Friday, we recorded two consecutive weeks of gains. So because each candle represents each way, each week, so we had two consecutive weeks of uh, gains. But really, the upward price move only started to happen from here onwards. So basically, on the 20, from the, let's say, from the 28th of January, we started to see the prices really moving to the upside uh, when it was trading in around 25. And today, obviously prices are moving massively sharply to the upside. Now, in terms of a one day percentage move, we have the biggest one day percentage move in, uh, in silver price since 2008. This is remarkable because we have not seen such an 11% or 10% move in, uh, in silver prices since, uh, since that time. So now I believe that if this particular phenomena continues, where retail traders believe that they can, you know, take out hedge funds, they can give them more nose bleed, then silver prices are very much likely to continue to move their journey to the upside, and the silver price can easily touch beyond this resistance of 31 to 32 and go towards the $35 price level. Now, where is this 3132 is coming? That is coming from a weekly chart. So if we move that weekly chart and then if we focus over here, so let me just, uh, so you can see that in around these, uh, over this particular price action back in 2013, we saw this massive, massive sell off. So this is our first resistance in relation to silver prices. Then if we break this one, the, uh, the, the next resistance is going to be this particular top, which was formed back in back then. So I'm talking about this particular area, and then I'm going to mark this one right over here like this. So really, it will be between. I can narrow it down a little bit more. So it'd be really between 34 to 35 dollar price level that we are really looking at. And I truly believe that if this momentum continues the way that it is doing it it will reach these prices without any problem. So let's keep an eye on silver prices. Let's see how they will perform so far. Uh, we, we also need to make sure that we are aware of one important thing, which is that on the weekly time frame, we have formed a uh, we have formed a double top, and that is one top being over here, the other top being over here prices can certainly reverse their direction to the downside. And then if it happens, the first sort of a support area that we're really going to see is going to be between $2790 price level, just above these, these particular price levels, just over here. So that is the first sort of a price level that we are really looking at. So, uh, I, I hope that this, this is really making sense to you guys. So once again, to summarize on in silver, we are seeing the biggest one day price move since 2008. Prices have formed a double top, meaning price can retrace. The retracement can push the prices towards the $27 mark. That could be your support, that could be your opportunity to get back into the market. However, <coughs> if price, uh, the, the, the chances are that if retail traders continue to buy uh, the uh, to buy silver, prices will move to the upside. The first resistance will be between 31.29 to 32.17. Followed by that, the next one is going to be 34.18 to 35.17. So to summarize the entire webinar, what we're really looking at, we're looking at a few different opportunities. Number one is your silver. 
The second opportunity is in the Dow Jones, where we what we are really seeing is that the sell-off. But today we are seeing the, this big push to the upside. Over here we have a trade. We can put your stop losses at the lows of today and then let this price move to the upside. And if it breaks above the 50 day simple moving average, then we are going to make a new all time high. And at the same time, we can keep an eye on stocks like GameStop and AMC and several other stocks because if they continue to move higher, the stock market, the Star John, is, is very, very likely to move to the downside. I hope this made sense for you guys. All right, that's all for now. And uh, keep following uh, for more updates on our social channels as where well, we will be putting more information. If you have any questions, feel free to post them there. All right, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday.